I was just looking at um, one of my earlier videos almost a year ago, back when I was still doing the woodworking and everything. It's not too clear in my mind why I quit doing the woodwork and started messing more with the scrap. Uh, the woodworking, my daughter didn't have a problem with me doing that. I think I was afraid about hurting myself or something. I don't know. But I'm going to run that video again that I run then about the woodworking and what I was doing and why I was doing it and where I was getting my materials and stuff. So I'm going to run that again. And I may start back on that with I, I should sit in the dunk. Of course, I got to get new tools and everything. That's going to be a problem. But I've kind of been down for the last two or three weeks. I haven't been uploading any videos. I got discouraged about a couple of things. But I'm going to go ahead. This video, I know I run it, but for those that didn't see it, I'm going to run it again. So we appreciate your comments. Thank you, and here it goes. I guess I need to explain. I'm going to tell people how I think. And, um, uh, Uh, I don't know where this, I don't really scrap anymore, I, I scrap, but it's not to sell, it's to bring home and keep for me to build my little crafts and projects and stuff that I want to build. Uh, of course, if I run into a big score on something, I'll try and sell it, uh, but for the most part now, I'm just a sucker for, I'll be driving down the road and I see a big old pile of wood, old fence boards and stuff, fence posts laying there in the pile to go to the landfill. And I'll stop and check that sucker out uh, for the wood. I love the old wood. Um, I, I uh, especially those, those wooden fences that you, you can buy them at loads and, and sections and they got them little thin boards on them and these things they get looking pretty bad and the people will take them down or let, they'll even fall down and I love to get them boards and I cut them up pieces like this to make crafts with and stuff um, it's already distressed. I, I don't have to make it look old. And then I cut it up into pieces like I can use for whatever I'm doing. Uh, most of the time I'm making signs and stuff, you know, like that, or boards for people to make their own signs on out of this distressed wood. Um, a lot of people go buy new wood and make these things and then that go through the trouble to make it look distressed and heck you can get all the distressed looking wood you want you don't have to make it look like nothing except clean it up and cut it up with whatever pieces you need and um, I love this old wood and even in, when I see furniture or something sitting out if it's dressers or chest of drawers or 
and wood headboard stuff like that I'll stop and take a look at it what I'm looking for is the stuff that's made out of the hardwoods but it's not made out of that particle board stuff like a lot of it is today and I'll, I'll, I'll pull drawers out and if them drawer fronts are, are uh, solid fronts like this, this was a drawer front it's walnut veneer on this side which I don't care about, I'm going to plane this down to a thinner thickness anyway but the rest of it, it's, uh, I'm, this is maple and it's solid, it's not, it's not that cheap stuff I can get some nice craft out of this stuff and I got a whole set of these um, I had not done anything with them yet and I get fence posts that are rotten on the outside and I make stuff like these crosses uh, this is out of a 2x4 fence post as you can see on the edge there it's kind of it's, it's rough it's distressed and then the inside you can see that it's not new wood but I make these crosses and stuff out of them for some churches and stuff and I sell a few but I love making this stuff and this was this, uh, this was a 4x4 four four and I cut it into about two foot sections and I re ripped this thing on my table saw I have to rip it one way and then flip it over and rip it the other way to get all the way through but I get these boards about about uh, 5 eighths of an inch thick and as you can see the wood's beautiful and this has been treated with a clear coat I put clear coat on um, but there's just all kind of stuff that you can do uh, this is another one I think it's extremely pretty um, and here's one where it's a 4x4 four four fence post that you can see was really distressed on the outside this is part of it and this is part of it and it was like that all the way around so I split I split the 4x4 four four directly in two and got two boards this thick all this distressed wood I don't trim that off this is, this is what people want they want to see that old wood and you'd be surprised at some of the looks you can get with this stuff um, here's another one I really like this is part of a 4x4 four four fence post uh, and these little nails or brass heads or what, whatever you call them, we'll call them. Uh, they came off of a sofa, no love seat in a sofa. I, they went around the arms. I think there was about 30 on each arm, and I pried those off because these things. To buy these, uh, they're they're uh, got probably 35 dollars for a box of boxes. The big nails, I think, is only 500 in a box. The smaller nails, uh, they're a thousand. And you, the, the upholstery trade, they use them a lot. I, that's what I did for 40 years: is build furniture and upholstery furniture and stuff like that. Um, I also got into van seats when the van conversions were real big. But uh, that's what these come from. But I to pull them. I look for anything like that that I can use. But, but a lot of old furniture like that, when it gets towed out, if it's got hard wood on it and not too hard to clean up, uh, I'll um, I'll get that thing. And people look at me like I'm crazy. Uh, this is drawer. This is solid oak. These is drawer sides and backs. And it's 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 not the not the particle board it's solid wood and talk about making great crafts bird houses uh just anything that's decorative which you want to use and i uh, these all this is all free stuff it's out there and you can go to lowe's and buy a board that's about about that long and it's it's seven dollars and it's that thick it's seven dollars for a piece of oak like that or a piece of poplar and this it, it's free 
three, 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 three. And I just love getting this stuff. Love getting it. Also, sometimes I come across some oak boards that's real rough on the outside. It was part of shipping crates and stuff. And those boards, some of them are made of oak. And as you can see, this is a nice piece of oak. I forget what I was using this piece for, but uh, I made several of these. These come out of four by four oak posts. And they clean up nice, they clean out nice. And that's about eight bucks. And it's free. So, anyway. Show you this. This is a piece of cedar. Now this was a two by four. I bought this at Lowe's, but I bought a two by four uh, cedar board for seven dollars, and it was like uh, it was eight foot long. So this is two foot. So I got four four pieces of two by four cedar, two foot long, and then I ripped them and resawed them into thinner boards and got uh let's see got four got four three pieces out of each two foot piece and so i got a lot of cedar for the seven dollars and it and it's nice cedar still has the aroma sometimes i run across old cedar boards out in the wild i call it you know when people laid it out or something and don't want it but uh uh, I, I just, any old wood I see, I, it, it, I'm just attracted to it. I don't know why. Uh, I see something like this. It's not ugly to me. It has a lot of potential. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is the only piece of this I found somewhere. Um, it was on the side of the road in a pile of wood. And that, that just caught my eye. But I'll make something with that up. I don't know what I'll do with it. Ain't much there, but I'll figure something out. This hasn't been cleaned or treated or anything. But uh, and here's a two by four piece of oak that cleaned up real nice. It was all old and rotten on the edges and outside. And here I've got a nice solid piece of oak. This thing weighs about five pounds. And I have lots of pieces like this that uh, uh, I get, it cost me absolutely enough, just the time to pick it up and the time to clean it up and see what I can do with it. Um, that's my problem with, I, I, like I said, I don't scrap anymore. I used to scrap metal. But back when I was scrapping metal, copper was almost three dollars a pound. Uh, steel was uh, eleven and twelve cents a pound, or twelve dollars a hundred. Um, brass, I forget what it was, but it was up there too. And aluminum cans was almost a dollar a pound. Uh, back then, it was kind of. I don't see how people make it scrapping nowadays with the prices down like it is. I mean, it's just totally ridiculous. And But my problem now is, I don't want to throw nothing away. I want to keep it, I want to use it. Um, it, it I, I was watching one of the YouTube, uh, what's he call himself, Pallet and, Pallet and Scrap Man or Pallet and Scrapper Man, something like that. I'll put a link to it on, on this video. Um, but he went to somewhere, they got a contact about some steel and stuff, and he went there and they had it all loaded up, and he had these huge steel frame carts with these, with these four and five inch swivel casters on each one. And those things brand new, that, the swivel caster that big around is right at $20 new. The flea market, you probably get seven or eight dollars a piece for them. And he didn't, he didn't take the things off. He, he sold them for scrap at 
I don't know, three or four cents a pound. I'll guarantee you wherever he scrapped them, if the right person saw them, they, they were going to take, I mean, all you do is unbolt them all. Nothing to it. Just like uh, shopping carts. If I see shopping carts that's beat up and bent up, laying out in the woods on the side of the road, if it's got them casters on, I get them suckers. There's just two on the two on the front are swivels, and they're about four inches. And two on the back, they're not swivel, but they're they're good casters. And I always get them. Now them on the back, uh, you have to cut them off because they're well alone, but the ones on the front, they're bolted on. So I always get them things. But that's my problem now. I, I don't want to, I don't grab stuff to sell. I grab it to make something that I can sell for more money. Um, and I just love it. I don't know, I don't know where, where this comes from. I, I've been called all kind of, Junk name, you know, junker, scrapper, wood dauber. Uh, it, it, some people even call me a shit dauber. Um, but you know, I don't care. But I had to quit scrapping. It got to be, you know, I'm 76, and uh, I'm not all that good physically.